Hello, I'm Mr. Kent, and I'm going to show you the way to go about practicing your typing and printing a certificate at Typing Test with Certificate, located on my site at mrkent.com. When you get to the page, you'll notice down near the bottom of the page, you have a few selections you can make. The type of test, for instance. If you take a look here, there's plain English, random letters, random letters and numbers, and random letters, numbers, and punctuation. Now, if you're a beginning typist, and I know you're not going to want to do this, but the best place to practice is on these lower three with the random letters and numbers. This will improve your uh, accuracy and your accuracy will get better and better as you practice with these. Once once you get your accuracy uh, taken care of, then your speed will automatically increase. Uh, whereas if you try to go for speed and forget accuracy, your accuracy will never increase. When you go to take a typing test for a job, uh, you probably have a rough time. Plain English is what you would select if you were actually ready to go apply for a job and take a typing test on the job. And uh, so this would be one of the last uh, selections you'd make after you'd practiced for quite some time and got your accuracy up. The other um, selection that you can make is between one minute and three minutes. Most job agencies will... Uh, have you take a three minute typing test. Some will do five, but most three. And today we're just going to go with plain English and we're going to use a one minute test. So when you're ready to begin, you simply click on begin your test. When you do that, the uh, page will generate a whole bunch of text that has been brought up from different things that I've written for this website. So you simply begin to type. And as you type each word correctly, you'll notice that they turn white. If you make a mistake, like on the next one here, we'll make a capital Y, it'll turn red. And so that tells you you've made a mistake. Don't try to correct your mistakes. You can't do that. Just go to the next black letter, which happens to be a lowercase O. So we go ahead and continue typing. until our one minute has expired. We try to be as accurate as possible. Whoops, I made a couple of mistakes for some reason there. And the next black letter is an L. Uh, there we go. Looks like I made a mistake on the space there or something. Anyway, all right, now my time is up, so I'll go ahead and click on the OK button, and that will bring up the results page. You'll notice up here it's, it shows you how many characters were available for me to type during that one minute period. And down below that it shows what I actually typed. And there's every mistake I made it still shows up in red. And as you can see, altogether I ended up making five mistakes. And I typed for one minute. My total, uh, my score was 12 words per minute, which, uh, you know, is pretty slow. But I'm going to go ahead and click on print certificate. I click on that and it's going to want to know what name to put on the certificate. So we'll put down Mr. Kent and click on continue. And there is our certificate. And I'll bring this up a little bit here. And you can see, um, this will print off and make a pretty nice uh, certificate that you can place in your portfolio or turn into your instructor. And it says, this is to certify Mr. Kent has successfully typed 12 words per minute over a period of one minute. And uh, hopefully, I'll be able to, uh, to type faster than that as time goes by. So we'll go ahead and we'll close that page after we've printed it. And come back to our results page. When we're satisfied, we go click on back to the typing test, which takes us back to the test with a whole set of new characters to type. 
And uh, if we click on that, that goes away if it happens to be in the way of our making selections down here. So that's how we use the typing test with a free certificate. I want to thank you for coming to MrKent.com.